Kia ora team and welcome. I'm Ruben from Link Solutions and in this session we're going to be covering how to bulk move timesheets from one job to another using Xero Practice Manager. The most common scenarios we need to do this are at invoicing time where we may find that a staff member has put time to the wrong job or there are duplicate jobs and we want to cancel one job or merge those two jobs by putting the time from one job into the other. So in this session we're going to cover exactly how to do that. Two scenarios that uh, typically occur where we need to bulk move time. One of them is where we're moving time uh, from one job to another, and another is where we're actually moving time inside a job. And we're going to show you both methods. So let's imagine at billing time we've uh, identified that there are um, there's two jobs to invoice for Business Bagels Limited 2019 Annual Engagement and 2020 Annual Engagement. And when we're invoicing our 2019 Annual Engagement, uh, perhaps we're checking our timesheets here, or generating the invoice in the draft, um, invoice that pops up, pops up with timesheet entries that have narrations that relate to the 2020 financial year. We uh, should move those move those timesheets to the twi uh, 2020 financial year job because that's the um, job that that work relates to. It's really important that uh, the time lines up with the job so that we can get accurate job profitability reporting. So being a good accounts person, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of this time to that job. And the way I'm going to do that so I'm going to go to the financial tab, uh, correction, I'm going to go to timesheets. I'm going to go to options, this is inside the job, and I'm going to go to move timesheets. Now you won't be able to do this if you already have a draft invoice because that these timesheets will essentially be assigned to that already. So you may need to delete your draft um, and then uh, move the time. You also won't be able to move any timesheets that have already been invoiced. You'll first need to uh, cancel or delete that invoice uh, move the time and then regenerate your invoice. So what it's asking me now is I'm moving time from this job here, 2019 annual engagement, to what? And I'm going to type in business bagels, find my 2020 job, and it's saying which records do you want to move? And I'm just going to move those two, for example. And I'll click next. If there was a narration there, that would also apply. It's going to ask me if I want to update the billable status, and most of the time, if in doubt, tick yes. Um, they both should be billable tasks on these two jobs, but just in case, uh, you want to make sure that they are, basically that will update the billable status. If you're moving stuff from a non-billable activity uh, to a billable activity, which can occur where people um, within your business may accidentally put client-related work to an internal activity, uh, then definitely tick that box, because otherwise uh, you're just going to have a non-billable uh, timesheet on a job instead of on your internal job. Cool, clear as mud. Now what it's asking us to do is to line up our tasks. Now these two jobs may have very different tasks in some instances. Here they have very similar tasks, which is why it's kind of guessed which one is most appropriate. But if you're moving it from say a uh, annual accounts um, job into a general queries job that you're going to build hourly, then you may want both of those things going to more of a general general queries type activity. So that's how you'd do that. You'd go and make them say, I'm gonna all the time that relates to these two things is gonna go against this single task. In this instance, I'm going to keep them the same. Actually, no, I'm going to make them both annual accounts. Cool, click save. And just like that, our time has been moved. Now, if I go and check my timesheet time here, we won't have that time anymore. And if I go back to my job and check the other job, we'll find that that time has arrived over here, ready for invoicing next year, or whenever we might generate those invoices. Cool, it's really important we do that to make sure that the profitability on both these jobs is accurate. Cool, another scenario that may occur is we were moving time within a job. So this typically occurs on longer running projects with multiple phases or we were doing different things. Sometimes people put time to the wrong, to the correct job, but the wrong activity within that job. So here's what we're going to do there. We're gonna use the same tool. This typically occurs when you're scrolling down your job here and you see that you've gone over on one of your tasks. You get a big red banner and you think, Oh, how come that took so long? And perhaps upon investigating this, let me just quickly untick these. It won't let me move time between jobs that are complete, or tasks that are completed. Um, perhaps upon investigating this task, you discover that uh, one of your staff has put time to this activity that actually belongs on a different activity. Perhaps they've put time to annual accounts um, that actually belongs on general queries, for example, within that same job. So what we're going to do here is the same sort of process. You can do this at any stage, it doesn't just have to be at billing, but it's most commonly when it occurs. You're going to go to Options, Correction, Timesheet, Options, Move Timesheets. We're going to select the ones we're going to move. So I'm going to move all of my quarterly coaching 
uh, time here, and I'm going to put that into um, Actually, I'm going to move my annual accounts time here. I'm going to put that into a quarterly coaching. So uh, here, it's asking me, I'm going to move time from this job here, 2019 annual engagement, and I'm going to keep it within the same job. So I'm going to type Anderson Bros 2019. So those two should match. They don't in this instance. Uh, Anderson Bros, Anderson Landscapes, that's why. Anderson Landscapes, there we go. Make sure those two job numbers are the same, otherwise you'll be sending it somewhere completely different. We're just moving that time. I'm going to update my billable status and I'm going to move this time from annual accounts to quarterly coaching, for example. So staying within the same job, we're just bulk moving all the time that I ticked from one task to another. And that's going to provide accurate uh, reporting around our unders and overs on each of these tasks so we can get accurate task level reporting. That's how we bulk move timesheets using Zero Practice Manager. The two scenarios we covered there was moving a whole bunch of timesheet time from one job to another. That most commonly occurs where a staff member has put time against the wrong job completely, or we have duplicate jobs and we want to merge the two together. The second scenario we covered was where we're bulk moving multiple timesheets from within from one task inside a job to another task, and that gives us accurate task level reporting and is most commonly identified uh, by project managers when you're looking at their unders and overs on specific tasks. So hopefully you found that worthwhile, and I'll see you in the next session.